Hi guys, welcome to Moments of Mindfulness. I want to talk to you today about journaling as a tool for mental health. When is journaling effective for mental health? Well, um, it can be effective in everyday life, but most of the clients that use journaling are going to be experiencing depression, anxiety, or insomnia. Uh, with depression, journaling can be used as a means of focus and a means of purpose. For anxiety, journaling can be a way of writing out your fears, your frustrations, the things that worry you or are overwhelming to you. Then for insomnia, especially when we're trying to get to sleep at night, we're having a hard time because we have things just racing through our head. Journaling can be an effective tool for jotting down the things that are on your mind. When most people hear journaling, what they think of is going through and writing an entire narrative story about how your day went um, with details about everything that happened. And so it sounds like an overwhelming task. So to break it down, make it a little more sim simple and effective, um, I wanted to give you a couple of hints or pointers. I call them hinters, a couple of hinters that will help you um, with this journaling. First thing you wanna do obviously is get a journal. And what I do is I will write my date in. And then um, what you may wanna do is just write, what is your mood for the day? What was the predominant mood? You may have had five, six, seven, eight different changes in your mood, but your mood could have gone anywhere from excited, ecstatic, to down in the dumps, but just writing your predominant mood for the day. And um, today, I would say content would be my, my mood for the day, content, or either at peace. And then just write a couple of sentences about what your day was about. So M for mood, A for about. The next thing you wanna do is to write any problems or things going on that you want to try and figure out how to work on either through the next day or through the help of someone else. So that's a way that you can journal for the day is you can map out your journal mood, what about or what your day was about, and then problem or problems that you're dealing with. It only takes a couple sentences here and there. It doesn't matter if it makes sense to anyone else. You can do it in list form. Some people find it effective to draw some of that, like you can draw your mood. I have a sheet, an emotional emoji sheet that came out way before phone emojis did that I'll give to people that has, oh gosh, close to a hundred different faces with different moods, identifying those moods, and they can use that as their map for their mood. Then um, when you put what your day was about, it can be something as simple as went to the store with a friend, found a great jacket, or it can be something like, um, I failed a test. Now I'm going to have to do better on my assignment. Or it could be something like, um, had a great day, went for a walk. Your problems could be something like, uh, tomorrow I need to do my budgeting, or I have a job interview tomorrow. Now, mapping it out, mapping out your journal and journaling very simply is an easy thing to do. How does it work for insomnia? Well, what I tell people when they're dealing with insomnia, and we can do another video just on sleep improvement and insomnia later, um, is if you're laying in bed, tossing and turning, and your mind is just racing, racing, get out a sheet of paper, and I say a sheet of paper rather than a computer because the light from that computer helps to further keep you awake but a pen and a paper and just anything that's going through your mind, just write it down. If it's a to-do list, if it's just random thoughts, write it down. If you don't want anybody else to see it and you're not gonna use it later, tear it up and throw it in the trash. It doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Sometimes emptying it from your mind acknowledges the thought. When you acknowledge the thought, then you can put the thought to rest. If it is things that you need to, are things you need to get done for the next day, then you already have your list planned out. That can also go on the problem section of your journal. So just do that each day, map it out each day, mood, what your day is about, and then any problem areas you wanna focus on. And then also don't forget that you can use this part to add your gratitudes 
or you can go to your gratitude list on the in the cover and your positive affirmation list in the other cover and keep adding on to those lists as you go. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the next video.